What's up guys? I'm James, also known as Just Some Nerd. And if you guys saw my video from last week, I did this really epic cosplay photo shoot with my Jack Sparrow costume, and we were on these old like replica ships that look like old pirate ships, and I got to shoot with my friend Jessica, who's this great photographer that I've really been wanting to work with for a long time. But that got me thinking, like, what if you had a new cosplay that you were wanting to take really epic pictures of, but you didn't have a cool location like that, or maybe you don't even have someone to take the pictures for you? So that got me thinking, of some like really simple lighting things that you guys can do where you can take pictures in your living room, your bedroom, or even a dark garage like I'm in right now. So what we're going to be talking about today is what's called low-key lighting. And what low-key lighting is, is basically when every, the, everything in your frame is underexposed except for your subject. So everything's going to be basically black except for you. You are going to be perfectly well lit. And the reason this is so great is you can do it anywhere. Like, I'm in my garage right now, and I hung up some black curtains back there, but those are really more to help block the light than to actually use as a background. Like, you could really do this stuff anywhere. And the way that we're doing this is we're going to have our camera set to be underexposed. But with these lights, the lights are going to shine in, and they will give you the proper exposure for your subject. But everything else is going to be black. Now, I'm going to be doing this with an SLR camera and some off-camera flashes. I have uh, one in a soft box and one just loose back there, but you don't have to have an expensive camera to do this and you don't have to have flashes. You could do this, you could really do this with your iPhone. Uh, I used to use these things as lights for projects all the time. Uh, there was not a lot of other options. Today there are cheap like lighting options that you can get on Amazon, like LED lights and stuff like that that are made for photography and videos. So I'll link some of that stuff down below too. The camera I'm using is a Nikon D7200, but this applies to you know any manual camera. So what I've got going on here, guys, is I've got a remote trigger on my camera, and I'm going to be triggering the camera with the remote. I have a flash and a softbox to one side. I have a reflector on the other side, and back behind me I have another flash to give like a backlight. This is just a really simple like three-point lighting setup. Uh, this stuff is not expensive. The flash that I have behind me is like $20 on Amazon. These triggers are like maybe $30 on Amazon. This is not super expensive stuff and it will work with pretty much any camera. All right, so that should give you guys a basic idea of the lighting setup that I've got going right now. Uh, so now I've gotta go get my costume. I haven't worn my Spider-Man suit in kind of a long time so I'm, uh, I'm excited to have an excuse to break it back out again. If you guys have any questions about the Spider-Man costume, let me know down below, and I'll do my best to get back to all you guys. All right, now we're ready to take some pictures. So what I've got is a little remote control that's triggering the camera. It's on a two-second delay, so that gives me a little bit of time to pose. Uh, my camera settings are the aperture is at f8, and my shutter speed is at 2 50th of a second, which is the flash sync speed for my camera, and the ISO is 100. To give you guys an idea of the images that we're getting, here's what the exposure looks like without the flash. And as you can see, it's completely dark. But add in that flash and a little bit of Photoshop work, and here you go. We have what I think is a pretty strong image that looks like it was shot in a studio and not in a dirty garage. Alright guys, so I've actually brought a couple other Spidey suits with me, so I guess since I brought them, I might as well use them. Alright, so now let's do a little bit of Photoshop work so you guys can see how I'm editing these. Uh, here's the image that I've picked for us to work on so you can see what the exposure looks like straight out of the camera. Uh, you can see that you can kind of still see some light coming through the windows and you can see a little bit of the roof of the garage. So we're going to bring this into Camera Raw and if you click up here in your histogram you'll see these blue lights pop up and what that means is what's totally black and we want it all to be totally black so I'm gonna drag this black slider down so to make more of that background entirely black so now that we've done that we have still got these little bits on the top so what we're gonna to do to get rid of that is we're gonna use a graduated filter and let's pull that filter down and we're turning some more of these settings all the way down so that it turns black and we're gonna do this on the sides too Alright, so now all that stuff is gone and we have a almost totally black background. I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit, add a little bit of saturation, boost the whites a little bit so the eyes look a little bit better. And zoom in here and it looks pretty good. 
if you look in the background there's a couple little things here that you can still see some light so to work on that let's bring it into regular Photoshop once we have it open in regular Photoshop we're going to do a couple of more things uh, I've got this zipper here you know because of uh, nature uh, but we want to take that out so let's use the patch tool make a selection around the zipper and then just drag that over and it'll magically disappear and we've also got over here in the uh, lower right hand corner a little bit where you can still see some light coming in from the window uh, to get rid of that I'm going to use the burn tool so we'll just go over to the side select the burn tool and we're just going to brush that on to darken that back up I have a the feathering the hardness on the brush is turned just about all the way down so it's a very soft brush and just brush that on and that'll darken that up and it'll just disappear into the black background and then after a couple of more minor adjustments in Photoshop we've got our image hey guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of the photos that I took today you can find me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you guys next time true believers